blade is like a tea leaf. Only those who sample it many times can approve. A lot of people over there. Are they looking for something? I heard that the organizer set up loads of message boards for the audience to leave comments and interact with each other. It sounds like a good way to encourage discussion about the tournament. I wonder if people will talk about me and Trilly Whirly. Oh, if only I could use this experience in one of my papers somehow. Paimon thinks that's a great idea! You always need a ton of information to write a paper, and you can't always get the info you need. But this time, you're the one providing yourself with the information! You can write whatever you want! That's a nice idea, Paimon. But I'm from the Ritawahis, Darshan. The kind of information I'm gathering now would only be of any use to someone in the Amorta Darshan. Yeah! You can provide the information to Amorta students! Maybe sell it to the highest bidder! Wait, no! Royalties! Charge royalties! Mora is a secondary consideration. But I could make it a fair trade by getting the Amorta students to read through some advanced papers for me and figure out what Trilly Whirly's kind likes. If I can narrow the search, it'll make my life a whole lot easier. I don't have to buy hundreds of different things and get Trilly Whirly to try them all. Just thinking about it makes me want to pass out. Layla, that's an amazing idea! Please, get them to look into what Bongo Head likes, too! Uh, I'll do my best. When I get back, I'll write a letter and send it to the Immorta. Little one, the pairings for the remaining 32 are out. Huh? We'll be facing Soka next! Oh, I've been looking forward to this a lot. What are you so excited about? Aren't you worried that we'll knock your budding author out of the competition? If that happens, Yai Publishy House's nice little journey in Sumeru will come to a very abrupt end. Oh, please. Do your worst. I never asked Soka to win in the first place. Besides, maybe suffering a humiliating defeat will give her the epiphany she so desperately needs. After all, 
A life with no obstacles tends to narrow the mind. People end up believing that only they are on the right path. Sometimes, obstacles are more valuable than smooth sailing. Excellent. Ah, I'm looking forward to the next round. I'll await your good news. Traveler. <laughs> I'm learning more about you all the time. Today's the round of 32 for the new Umbrella Cup! We're up against Soka this time. We gotta give it our all and then some! Come on, let's head to the arena! Traveler, Paimon, this day has come earlier than I had expected. My apologies, but my writing career is at stake here, and my reputation in Lady Yai's eyes... I can't allow you to beat me. Don't get too cocky, Soka. We won't go easy on you. <laughs> It. 
it seems that the guests of Tenshukaku have powers beyond the reach of mere mortals like me. Oh no! Did we go too far? Soka's taking this pretty hard. Miko said it was fine not to look back, but she'll definitely be mad at us when she sees her in this state. Oh, Paimon's freaking out! Okay, we should just go apologize to Miko. Come on, Bungo Head, put on your best guilty face! Did she look crestfallen and say something melodramatic like beyond the reach of mere mortals then curl up on the ground and start wailing? Yes! To all of those, actually. Oh, you know it really well, huh? It's better this way. Soka will turn this experience into valuable writing material. She'll be able to portray the protagonist's journey with all the setbacks they face along the way much more compellingly. It will resonate all the more with readers. As for how to flesh out the villain, dominating, ruthless but brilliant, and ultimately victorious, the inspiration will have to come from you. So don't go getting yourselves knocked out of the competition by some second-rate wannabe, hmm? just a few hours. I've tried making a few different snacks for Twirly Whirly based on the information they gave me, but it didn't seem to like any of them. Hmm. Maybe I used some of the wrong ingredients or something. So then I made a new, improved list and also included ingredients that might suit Bongo Head's taste. Ah... <sighs> I didn't go to bed until way past midnight. <sighs> so, I'm a little out of breath today. How'd you get the results so soon? That was super quick! How's it going, my little Layla? Have you been teaching your opponents a lesson? Yep. Thanks for taking us training, Miss Yai. Trilly Whirly is way more obedient now, and it reacts so quickly. I'm actually kind of envious. But the opponents have gotten stronger too, so the pressure is on. I gotta train with Trilly Whirly some more if I want to have a shot at getting into the quarterfinals. The problem is, I'm also planning to visit the Almighty Merchant at 7 in the morning tomorrow to buy all the ingredients I need. Oh, that's no problem. I'll join you with your training session, and we can leave the little ones to buy the ingredients. They're quite the experts in running errands. Oh, it sounds like you two help out Miss Yai quite often, huh? Ah, uh, right! Yeah! Please don't turn us into scary evil bad guys! Don't worry, little Layla. They're just apologizing to me for defeating Soka. Go buy yourself a nice drink, take a break, and catch your breath. Thanks so much. Oh, you guys are the best. This is the address where I arranged to meet up with the Almighty Merchant. And here's the list of ingredients. Ah, oh, thanks again. Hey, it's our pleasure. You helped us look into Bongo Head's preferences, remember? Glad we can return the favor. As 
for the potential liabilities we didn't have time to discuss earlier, one good place to start might be the fungi power-up materials. Why, this is the most exciting subplot of the novel, The Secret Investigation. I'm sure you must be curious about where the magical powers of the Wisdom Orb and Floral Jelly really come from. Besides, if we fail to uncover what's really going on in this tournament, we simply leave Hania to her own devices. Who knows what chaos might ensue? Uh, this is suddenly sounding super complicated. Paimon isn't really following. I suggest that you act just before sunrise, while most people are tired and resting. You may find some important leads. Should we really take Miko's suggestion? Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's wait until early tomorrow morning and go check out the Fungi Power Up place. Don't worry, Bongo Head. You're not under suspicion or anything. We just want to make sure everyone stays safe in this competition. regular floral jelly. It's right out in the open for everyone to see, and they've even put the recipe on the table. Hmm. Well, it's not like we can just take them away and go investigate them. That'd be stealing, right? We'd probably be disqualified and might even end up getting arrested by the Corps of Dirty. Oh, but we do have a camera. How about we take some pictures of the floral jelly and its recipe? At least then we'll have a record of all the important information. expert to analyze these photos, but we're kind of running out of time. Uh, let's go by Layla's stuff first. Uh, Hania? You hold yourselves to pretty high standards, coming here so early to power up your fungi. No wonder you've made it this far. Hania, we need to talk. Your plan you told us about last time, it's way too extreme. Save your breath. If you think I'm wrong, start by defeating me. Then you can show me why exactly you think your opinion is correct. <sighs> she won't listen to us at all. How did things end up like this? Paimon thought we were getting along pretty well at first. All right, fine. Come on, Bongo Head. There's no time to mope. Thank <laughs> you. 
Take flight! Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. that this is where we should be meeting the Almighty Merchant. Oh, the looks on your faces tell me you're searching for the Almighty Merchant, yes? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, how did you know? Wait, Dory? <sighs> so you're the Almighty Merchant Layla mentioned? 
Oh, I'm so surprised. Every vendor and customer in the Grand Bazaar knows that Lord Sangama Bay possesses the widest and most magical range of goods. Almighty, supreme, omnipotent, these and many more are my exclusive epithets. Any other merchant thinking of using one can forget it. Unless they're prepared to pay millions of mora in licensing fees. Uh, guess Paimon should have known. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But back to business. I'm surprised that Layla sent you here on her behalf. I suppose she must be busy enjoying the Beast Tamer tournament, hmm? Sounds like you two get along pretty well. You know a lot about what's going on. <laughs> it has nothing to do with getting along. Layla previously bought a few things from me. They weren't the most valuable goods, but it was still a lot of mora for a student. So naturally, I now keep tabs on her activity, which is why I know that she's taking part in a very suspicious tournament. Mm-hmm. Something just didn't feel right. As it happens, I do have some goods I'm trying to get off my hands. They're a little hot for my liking, but so far no takers. They're also taking up space, so I think I'll just give them to you. Um, this is just a bunch of spare parts and random notes. I'm told this is a device and some documents that the organizer attempted to destroy. But they were careless. Some people will scavenge through anything hoping for a chance to get rich. Sure enough, someone fished these out of the water and sent them to me. Now that Paimon takes a closer look, this looks similar to the recipe for floral jelly. And these parts look like they came from a wisdom orb. Maybe they were used during the experiment phase. Let's hold on to them for now and have Miku take a look later. Maybe she'll notice if there's anything fishy about them. Yeah, seems like our worries were well placed after all. But Paimon still wants to hang out with Bongo Head. I don't know what you two are talking about, but it sounds like these items might prove useful to you. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount. A 60 million mora. Thank you for your business. No one gives a hoot about these items, except for you and the Matra. We have other business to do today. Uh, consider this a little extra I'm throwing in to sweeten the deal. Show me Layla's list. I just need to know what she wants. Once I finish stacking up the goods, I'll send someone to deliver them to her so that you don't have to. That's a relief. I thought all our efforts were gonna go down the drain. We couldn't afford that price even if we won the top prize. Hmm. Flour mixed with Matsutake powder, a vintage jam, Zaytun peach juice? Is this really the fungi diet? How did Layla even find that out? Raymond still feels kinda uneasy about all this, but we don't have much time. Let's continue with the competition. If Kaltillion really is plotting something, we'll expose him in front of everyone during the ultimate trial! I can see you're serious about this. Good. Time to put my years of rigorous training to full use. Now, prepare to witness the power of my all-cryo fungi team. Stop. 
Frost Dome. My team has been defeated? Whew! That was a hard-won battle. You and your buddies put up a good fight, Bunglehead. Traveler Paimon, I saw you guys made it to the next round. Congrats. Hey, Layla! You're looking well today! And Twirly Whirly looks really happy! Guess you won your last round, too! It was a close call. I only won by a hair. Oh, I'm so glad I trained with Miss Yai beforehand. Also, the Almighty Merchant just sent someone to deliver the stuff I ordered. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go catch up on some rest with Twirly Whirly now. Hmm... My stamina's running low. Let's keep the volume down. Speaking of Miss Yai, where did Miku go? She left in a hurry with Soka. I guess they must have had something urgent to do. Also... I think they were escorted by a mercenary from the Core of 30. When I returned to the arena, they were already quite a distance away. It didn't feel right to run after them and ask what they were up to. Could be. Miko has been putting a lot of time into the tournament lately, so Paimon wouldn't be surprised if she had a lot of chief editor work to catch up on. She also said that she wanted to look for inspiration while enjoying her vacation. The mercenary was probably just their tour guide. We shouldn't worry about it. The quarterfinals are coming up. To me, this is the most important round. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but let's all do our best. Yeah! <sighs> We've all done really well to come this far in the tournament. Keep it up, Layla! Right! We have to stay vigilant. Okay, let's take some photos of the items we got from Dory to add to the ones we took this morning. We'll show them all to Miko when we see her next. Thank <laughs> you. 
looking for trouble? Just like we rehearsed! blade is like a tea leaf. Only those who sample it many times can appreciate its true qualities.
Showtime, Bunglehead! Let's smash our way through to the semifinals!
Alright today. I'll take the chance to try to get some more done than usual.
it's you. The uncultured swine of the Neelut Pala Cup. Hey, you potty mouth! What's your problem? The way you dote on your fungi. It's pathetic! <laughs> what a joke! You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all. The mighty Hania. Greatest beast tamer of all? <laughs> That's debatable. You keep telling yourself that. You were never gonna come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. <laughs> be happening I trained my fungi non-stop maybe I should have been harder on them <sighs> well we beat him but somehow Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate Traveler, Paimon, I made it through. That's amazing, Layla! You reached your goal! I heard you won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but you don't seem too happy about it. How come? It's just that... <sighs> He was really mean. He said some weird things. I see what you mean. Yeah, somehow beast tamers like him make me feel a little... Uh, sad. Yeah, he clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like. Based on a vague impression, and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would feel uneasy about it too if she knew. Also, he's so cruel to his shroom buddies when they could have been friends. Mm. It's not just his loss either. It brings all the other contestants down. Right! You have the right mindset, Layla. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less gloomy. But it's only because I'm not aiming as high. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me. That's all. Oh, looks like the next fight is you against me. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't matter who wins, this is just a little contest between friends. Alright, time to see who's the strongest fungi! Twirly Whirly or Bongo Head! Loser buys dinner for the winner! Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. 
Did I miss anything big while I was gone? Miko! You're back! Finally! You stepped off without saying anything last time, so we didn't get to tell you about the evidence we... Um... Um... Uh, evidently, we have some things to discuss with you. Yes, well, it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. I've barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. I'm sure you two will have a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, after all. Yeah, who knew it'd get to this point? Miss Yai has to face off against Hania. Look on the bright side! Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania! But that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves! Eh, whatever, Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose! same time. You don't have to go easy on me. Twirly Whirly and team have weathered plenty of tough challenges already, and they know how to put up a good fight. So you and your shroom buddies can give it your all. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly! show I've seen so far, Twirly Whirly. <laughs> that was a real blast. I loved it. Thank you all. Twirly Whirly and I went out with a bang. Any other opponent and we might be feeling a little disappointed right now. But we were definitely beaten by the best. You did really well too, you know. Felt like we were one wrong move away from a very mushy bongo. Just letting the fungi do their thing and enjoying the match with no pressure to win? It was a good feeling. If only every match could be as carefree as that! Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, Paimon's so nervous for her. Let's go see how she's doing. Ready? 
Your match is over too? You took your time. I'm assuming it was a close call. You sound way too relaxed for someone who just fought in the semifinals. Bet it was a walk in the park, huh? <laughs> yes. Ours was as far from a close call as you could get. All it took was a few short, sharp strikes for Blitzara and I... ...to be beaten by Hania. Huh? What? You think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Far from it, Hania. I know full well how serious you are about all this from your ironclad determination to annihilate an entire species. How would I ever dare mock you? That said, if you continue down this path and find that it leads somewhere quite different from what you had hoped, what will become of that ironclad determination then? I look forward to finding out. That's not your concern. Running away so soon? Miss Yai lost the match. But why is Hania the one who seemed upset? The situation gets more interesting with each development. Blitzara injured Pyro one soon after the match started, and Hania was clearly quite distressed. I simply pointed out that she's still deceiving herself, and her defenses began breaking down. She's more fragile than I'd imagined. You mean... Hania isn't as heartless as she tries to make herself out to be? So she does care about Pyro One, but she didn't mean to show it in front of you. Right answer. Now's our chance to get through to her. You, my little friends, are the only ones who can get her back onto the right path. But Hania's long gone now. Where should we look for her? Well, right now, I'm sure she must be wondering what it is that has made her suddenly start doubting herself after all this time. The answer lies with the three of you. I'm sure you all know where she's gone to. The place where I first met the Traveler in Paimon? Good point! It was when Layla mentioned her plan to bring her shroom buddies back home with her that Hania's mood suddenly changed. Layla, it seems like you're onto something. Let's catch up with Hania and set things straight. You should stay here, little Layla. I understand that you want to help Hania, but she's not the kind of person you're good at dealing with. Leave it to them this time. That's true. And if I said something that struck a nerve again, I'd only make things worse. Plus, you guys move pretty fast. Uh, if I tag along, I'd probably need to stop and gather my strength every ten minutes. Well, what are you waiting for, little one? Oh, my, you've been busier than I thought. In return, I give you a blessing from me. Good luck. I'll share my thoughts the next time we meet.
wish life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. <laughs> How greedy.